What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Queen, and be with an I, not a Y. I am back again. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> okay, before I get started, I want you guys to like, comment, share, subscribe. I want you to ring the notification bell because I am going to be way more consistent uh, on YouTube. So, I want you guys to ring the notification bell. And I want y'all to get y'all what? Life, period. What do y'all mean? <laughs> anyway, today, we are talking about my two-year dental design smile update on my composite resin veneers. Um, I did not specify what type of veneers I had in my first video. And I am letting it be known now that I have composite resin. I have heard a lot of people talk down on composite resin, but however, I personally love it. I love composite resin and I feel like I cannot live life without these. Like, I feel like this has to be life. Like, with my teeth just like this. Like, till I'm 90 years old. I just, until they just start falling out at the root or something, my teeth gonna be like this. Like, they just gonna always be like this. You know what I'm saying? Every 10 years, you just go and get your touch up and you good for another 10 years, regular. Um, however, let me speak on porcelain. Uh, those of you all who want your teeth to be, you know, last a little longer, not even a little longer, a lot longer, you guys can pay $10,000 for porcelain uh, veneers, which um, they last for 20 years. So, yeah, that's something to think about if you got your coin up or whatever and you could just bust through with, with 10 bands right quick, get your porcelain life. And if you want to bust through with your composite resin for about five bands, get your composite resin life, period. Um, I'm going to go through and answer some of the questions that you all have asked me uh, on YouTube. Um, just to update, um, you guys asked if my teeth has chipped. Thank God, no, they have not. Um, oh, yeah, let me put a disclaimer out there. I posted my first dental design smile review a year ago, but I actually was late posting it to YouTube. I had first posted on my Instagram and basically my Instagram, you know, my Instagram popping or whatever. So uh, y'all could follow me on there too. It's Queen and be spelled exactly like how this page is. Q-U-E-E-N-E-N-V-I. It's always Queen Envy with a, a not a what, why, never a why, period. But anywho, I posted it as an IGTV first on Instagram. Then I was like, why didn't I put this on YouTube? So a year later, I know that's like forever. A year later, I decided to post it on YouTube. So technically, I have had my teeth, my veneers for over two years. December made two years. So... I don't want y'all to be like, how is this a two-year update when you just posted the other one a year ago? I'm letting you guys know I was late posting it here, but December of 2020, 2021 made me have my teeth for two years. So this is the two-year update. You guys want to know if they chipped? Thank God they have not. They are busting food. They, they, they still look new. You know, you basically just take care of them as if you taking care of your, your regular teeth, you know? Um, let me go through and answer some more of you guys' questions. Okay. You guys want to know if they, there is uh, financing available. Yes, there is financing available. It's a card, uh, a credit card called Alfion. Um, basically, if you pay the payments off within two years, they will not charge you any interest. So that can be like a great option. Um... And you guys also want to know, you guys also want to know, um, you know, how do you set your date in stone? Uh, so when it was my turn or whatever, I basically emailed them. They wrote me back. I sent them a picture of my teeth. They wanted my teeth from like a lot of different angles. And then um, once they told me that, you know, my smile qualified for them to be able to help me, they literally gave me like um, different dates. They gave me dates. 
And then after they gave me the dates, I had to put down a $500 deposit that held my date. Um, after you do the 500, uh, when you get there in person, that's when you pay the remaining balance. But if you have great credit and you qualify for Alfion and you want to, you can put the whole payment on Alfion and just pay it off in two years. Um, let me see. Okay, you guys asked, what does a bite lift look like? Okay, so they had to do a couple of things to me before they put my veneers on. I had to get a bite lift. So basically, um, I guess I had a slight overbite, which means that your top row kind of slightly goes over your bottom row. So they basically had to put like a, a longer filling in on one side and it kind of made my smile not be crooked. It kind of aligned it the correct way. Um, so yes, they had to perform that. Um, you guys want to ask how gum cutting works. Okay, so when they did gum cutting on me, basically it's for like the ridges, you know, like all of our gums is not naturally going to go like this for the veneers to be able to fit in. So they basically take a laser and they cut it like this, like literally like little loops so that they can fit the veneer in and it looks perfect. Um, did it hurt? No, I was numbed up. I didn't really feel anything. Um, and, and no, I did not pay extra for the gum cutting. Um, I believe it came with the price of everything from what I remember. Um, you guys wanted to know what type of dental work I want I had done prior to getting my veneers. Okay, so basically, I like I said in my first video, I had a fear of the dentist so bad for like my whole life. But when I started seeing veneers, I was like, hold on, bitch, hold on. You gotta <laughs> you gotta get it together because you gotta be a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be fine. And you can't be fat with no little raggedy and beef. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I had to basically get um a couple of fill-ins. I had to get um I had to get a tooth extracted all the way in the back. Um, I had to did I get a root canal? No, I didn't get a root canal. That was the tooth that I ended up getting pulled because it was just too much and it was all the way in the back. And I was like. <laughs> Baby, they can't see that. They can't see it. So, <laughs> snatch a rule. Snatch a rule it out. It could go. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, when I got there, they gave me a deep cleaning. They gave me the uh, bite lift. And then um, they they magically found two more teeth to fill in. Um, like I said in my first video, whatever you need to get done prior to your veneers, Try to get that done at your local dentist because it's going to be making your price higher, you know, um, if you wait to do it out there because they're going to be, okay, well, this costs this and that costs that and blah, blah, blah. And then now you got to come out of all your money when you probably could have got the regular stuff fixed on your insurance at home or something because that's what I did. Um, Let me see. Y'all talking about who, who, who does my nails. Um, this particular set was done by Polka Dot. She's on Instagram. Um, you guys want to know if I can chew gum. Yes, I can chew gum, but I'm not like a big gum chewer. Like, <laughs> like I don't be just chewing gum all the time. You know what I'm saying? But I can if I would like to. You know, um, yeah. Um... You guys ask, what shade do I have? Um, I have the whitest shade that's available. Um, it was crazy because when I uh, went to get my teeth done, they actually told me that the newest shade had literally just came out like a day or two before I came. So I'm like, period, period with the, <laughs> hey. And I like it because, you know, they're very white. But they're not white to the point where they look a little blue, if y'all get what I'm saying. So, yeah, it's the whitest shade that they have available. That's what I have. Um, Let me see. Again, no, my teeth have not chipped. If you paid your deposit, 
get your life period you are making the right choice like i said it's unfortunate that other people um you know teeth chipped but maybe maybe they went crazy maybe they was going nuts on taffy apples or something you know what i'm saying <laughs> like <laughs> like maybe they was losing their mind on the taffy apples or something because at the end of the day like i don't be eating crab legs and gnawing off stuff like i eat food but and i don't like I don't feel like I can't eat stuff, but I don't just be going crazy either. And they gave us like special instructions um, when I got the composite resin, basically saying that, you know, um, like what we shouldn't be eating. And like I said, taffy apples, like stuff where you have to gnaw into it. Like I'm pretty sure if I cut the taffy apple up, I could eat it that way. But as far as like just scarfing it down and stabbing your teeth in there and yanking it, like you don't need to do that. Um, you guys asked if they had to shave my teeth down. No, they did not have to. You know what? Wait, I lied a little bit. So, overall, no, they did not have to shave my teeth down. But my, these two teeth right here, the two big ones in the front, one of them was sticking out a little further than the other. So, they had to shave it down going this way, you know, because I guess it was popping out a little bit. So they had to shave it down this way, but only literally one tooth. And they didn't shave it into like a little, you know, how it be looking all nasty or whatever, like little baby triangles upside down and stuff. Like, it don't look like that. They literally just made it less thick so that they can like, you know, s snap the veneer busting through on there. But yeah, um, overall, overall or whatever, I love them. I suggest them. Um... The only problem that I could tell y'all that I did have, um, when they first did them, um, they literally go between your teeth for like, it looks like a thin, like nail file. And it's basically to like, you know, to open up the gaps in between so that you can like a floss and stuff like that. And so basically it was one tooth that they forgot to do that on. So I went back, not this not December of uh, 21, but December of 2020, I went back and had them fix that for me or whatever. So they basically, it was free of charge because um, when you get your teeth done, you have a one year warranty. So whatever you need to get fixed or whatever, make sure you have that solved and resolved, you know, before your one year is up. And that's what I did. I went back down there before my one year was up and it was literally like a couple days before my one year was up but i went back down there and they just literally saw the little the little uh thing open so i could put a flosser in between that was the only problem that i had and it wasn't like a huge deal but it was because i'm like a a clean freak i want to like you know bust through with my uh floss and i wasn't able to do that with one tooth and that was so annoying because you know, I didn't really trust anybody here in Chicago to, you know, um, you know, to mess with my beautiful Miami teeth. So I had to wait until I went back down there to get it fixed. But besides for that, I love them. They're still doing good. As y'all can see, thank Jesus Christ, there has not been any chipping, period. Do I suggest them? Yes. I give them a 10. And then it was really cool because the guy who was doing my um, veneers, he was just real smooth and cool. He had on red bottoms. I'm like, this man cool as hell uh, doing my teeth. He flee as hell. I'm okay, period. <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all again for subscribing. And thank y'all because I know y'all finna subscribe. Don't be playing with me. Y'all Y'all can also leave some comments or some stuff y'all want me to talk about or whatever. But I want y'all to subscribe. Thank y'all again. And... I'm going to see y'all in the next video, period.